Hello everyone, welcome back to Feed the Beast. As you can see, I've started building the mansion house. I had a comment on the last video saying they like sandstone, and I agree, sandstone's very nice. I've also just been having a look at this brick here, this is um, sandy brick. It's the same texture as used on the coke oven. Um, I really like it, it's a little bit dark, maybe a little bit brown, but I'd consider it if you could cut it in sub blocks, but you can't. And as you can see, I like sub blocks. I've been using them with sandstone. Um, I'm actually following uh, pictures of a, an actual mansion house in England. I think the only thing I don't like about the sandstone is um, you really just have to look at it from an angle. There's a lot of detail here, but it doesn't become apparent until you start moving around. Um, if you just look at it from the front, it just kind of all blends in. Uh, there's not much colour. And for that reason, um, this was the first window I did, uh, and this is the second window I did. This is hardened glass that has this um, this kind of dark grey border around each block, and I, I like that. I think it just adds a little bit of definition to the window. I need to try and come up with ways to possibly add a bit more definition to the walls. Um, I really do like the way this this cladding around the bottom looks uh, using sub blocks. Um, so yeah, I think this is what I'm going to use. Um, I built this sort of facade at the front and then I started building the walls. Um, so just here, uh, I'll need to move the window back into this wall here. Um, and here's the, the kind of front entrance way. Uh, I used turtles to actually build the walls. I don't want to be placing all these blocks. Um, and I ran out of sandstone, you can see it's over there. Um, so I've made a lot more sandstone, just haven't got around to kicking off the turtle again. Basically, um, with my son, I made a, a program that uh, it follows. You, you lay down the pattern, and it follows the pattern, just br builds up layers. Um, if anyone's interested, uh, let me know in the comments. I can put it on pastebin. It's um, it's fairly simple. It can get confused if you uh, if you have two bends within one block from each other, uh, but it's quite nice. Um, kind of going in the wrong way there, but um, I'm planning to do the floor in marble, so we have uh, stone and then covering it in marble, um, and I thought these looked quite nice, uh, the entrance way, um, just uh, using a bit of that uh, uh, maize brick stuff. Um, I don't know how to blend it in, again it's, uh, it's a brick that you can't do sub blocks of, so yeah, I don't know. And also the inside of the house. I'm not sure what I want the inside of the house to be sandstone. Uh, so I could cover it with um, wood or uh, wool. But then if I want to attach something to the walls um, with uh, a cover like this, you can't attach anything else. It kind of fills up the whole block. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what to do there. I also found uh, tower wood in... Um, the Twilight Forest, which has a vertical wood pattern, which, oh, it looked brilliant for wood panelling. Uh, but unless I make the whole house in that stuff, and then just panel the outside in sandstone, it's not going to be possible. I'm actually considering doing that. I mean, that would be a ridiculous amount of work. Um, so I'd have to tear all this down. Um, but yeah... Let, let me go and get some. Let's go and get some. I, I'd, I'd like uh, opinions on this. Um, and then I'll, I'll fly up and I'll show you the shape of the house. So the tower wood um, is something I only found recently. Uh, so it looks like this. Uh, no, we don't want mossy. It's normal tower wood planks. Okay, so um, you can see I've uh, roofed in the whole thing um, and made a stair to get in and out. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go and build some of these things, and um, put it against the sandstone and see what it looks like. Uh, so this is what I think would look good inside as like wooden panelling for the inside of the rooms. Although I'm not sure I'd want to have every room being wood panelled, and if I use this uh, to build the house from, it pretty much would be. Uh, but you can see the vertical wood looks very nice. Um, I think I'll go and sleep and I'll show you it during the daytime, so um, while it's night, let's just pop up and show you the overall shape of the house. Um, so, yeah, we've got 
uh, the main body of the house and two wings. Uh, this will all be partitioned off into rooms and then the front entrance way here. Um, and it just looked a little bit boring with this going straight across so I just pushed this back as well. Um, but yeah that's the size and shape of the house and I'm, as I said I'm going to floor the whole thing with um, with marble. Uh, again I'll use turtles to do that. I, I wrote a program that um, that fills in the floor, floor, builds the floor, and that's what I used to, to put all this stone down. Um, I thought I'd better finally get around to it. I've still got a hole here so I can get down nice and easily. Um, so yeah, let's go and sleep. And then, uh, oh, you can see another bit that I've built. I've got lots to show you. Uh, so we're going to sleep and have a look at this tower wood and um, see what it looks like during the day. Uh, but looking forward to getting the house built and actually having a bedroom up there. Um, I'm also looking forward to building my Thorncraft room. I uh, still haven't moved over my Thorncraft stuff from the original hole in the ground I dug. So, here we go. That's what it looks like during the day. And that's what it looks like next to the um, sandstone. Ah, uh, yes, you know you'd die. So, yeah, it's a possibility. Um, so yeah, the outside, because I'm not likely to want to have many details on the outside. I'll probably have a few, maybe a couple of um, details here and there. Um, but you know, it'll just be built from sub-blocks usually. So instead of using panels, um, sorry, covers, I'd use panels here, which are twice the thickness. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide. That's another reason why I haven't built any more layers onto the walls because uh, I don't want to build it up any higher um, before I decide. And um, yeah, I put uh, this maze brick as the foundations for the walls. Uh, I mean, completely pointless. You don't need foundations in Minecraft. Uh, but you know, it just makes me feel good. I like I like doing that. Um, it's very difficult to break. Um, yeah, there's a bit of. Uh, this is my son's wing. He, this is going to be his, uh, and he can be bothered to fill it all in with stone. So whatever. Um, this is going to be my wing, the one over here. And um, the reason I want this wing is Thorncraft Laboratory is going to be right next to this. This is a lovely pure node, 264 vis. You can see in the bottom left. And uh, I grew the uh, basically put this together and grew this from uh, silverwood trees. I've still got a few more, uh, but I've got it to the point now where it's safe. I don't have to be careful. Um, it will never uh, become a smaller one when combining, which is nice. So yeah, I want that right next to my laboratory so I can look out if, I, if I'm creating lots of flux and see all the, the lightning and stuff. Um, so as you can see, uh, some of the floor is not floor, it's pipe. Um, instead of putting the pipe underneath the stone layer, um, there's two reasons I want to put it, wanted to put it in the stone layer. Firstly, when I'm flying around downstairs, it's easier. Uh, although I might put another cover over the stone or under the stone, I don't know. But the other thing is, I'm going to want um, relays up here in various different places, uh, most rooms, so I can um, just toss things in which go into the sorting system and get put away. Right, the next thing to show you is I've actually started building what the inside's going to look like. So it's a bit similar to what I did in TechIt, but slightly different. I mean, I've only I haven't finished it. <laughs> I will be doing something above here, just not sure what yet. Um, so this is the whole idea of like the three sections with machines, uh, two project tables, and a chest next to it. Um, and just building a, a, a nice surround out of um, the stone bricks. Uh, and that's what I've been doing here. I've also added two new machines. Uh, Greg Tech has added some new machines. So there's a plate bending machine and there is an assembling machine. Um, yes, I know there's a gap here. I don't know what I'm going to put there. I don't know whether I'm going to put a machine or maybe just a crafting table. I don't know. Maybe just another stone brick. Not sure. Um, and this is a relay that I can just throw things in and it will end up getting sorted. So I can just throw the bone in there. It's the same as this one up here. This one up here will go. Um, I will get rid of it. 
Uh, I can be standing over here though, and I'm so used to going up there, I end up going in that one even though there's one here. I haven't quite got used to it yet. Um, also made this thing, which is very expensive, used um, just over a stack of UU matter, and it's a charge mat, which um, will actually charge the armour when you're standing within range of it, so within three blocks. So you can see the energy level on my jetpack is now at 100%, so that's pretty nice. Uh, these gaps up here, I just put the Naga stone heads um, just as placeholders because like on Tech it, I was planning to put industrial uh, panels, maybe reading uh, how much energy there is in certain um, certain storages, but I quite like the Naga stone heads, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to wait and see on that front. So, um, yeah, the awkward thing is, if I build this all the way around here, uh, and here, and do something kind of similar there, I can't really access the, the machinery. Now, I don't want it visible all the time. The machinery behind the um, the corners of uh, barrels is messy. It's always going to be messy. I'm not going to make it pretty. I want to make this to look reasonably, uh, reasonably nice. Uh, but behind there, I don't want to look nice. I don't want to have to go to the trouble. But I need access, so you can open up a door on each side to get access. And I really like the way this worked out. So um, I've just got three pistons behind here and a toggle uh, flip-flop there. And um, it actually took me quite a while to get this nice and simple, uh, mainly because some of the sub-blocks that I'd used I mean, it doesn't actually look like I've used sub-blocks. Um, it looks like they're all stairs. But actually here, th this is sub-blocks because uh, I couldn't get the exact shape I wanted without using sub-blocks. Um, yes, so... Yeah, there's a cover there um, because I needed to get redstone wire on the back. So I didn't realise that made it look like that. From the front, but anyway, yeah, looks okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, I had one of the sub blocks uh, and, a, and a join between sub blocks in the way, and I couldn't get the wiring right for ages. Um, God, I like to do things as compact as possible, uh, make them as elegant as possible. So I, I really like that. Um, this is a kind of experiment that I've been doing. So I need to get some uh, copper wire. So let's get some copper wire out of here copper cable, should I say, and if I pop it in this chest, uh, this just contains stuff. Yeah, I already flicked the uh, switch earlier, so that what this is going to do, it's going to load up uh, this plate bending machine with electrum and aluminium, and then that will end up going to the assembling machine, which will make a circuit board, and then uh, the circuit board uh, will join the copper cable here and produce circuits. Um, yeah, so it's it's quite a nice idea. I mean, I don't I don't want something. I don't know. I I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I don't want to keep making circuits in my project tables. It's boring. I, I I've got enough resources now. Uh, I want to just make a lot, but I don't want to use all the resources. Um, and I'm not sure I really want them pulled on demand. Um, I'm not sure I can easily unless I dedicate some of these machines. So I'm trying to decide whether to do that at the moment. Um, so yeah, not sure. Having a think. And this is a, a wire mill. Um, I used it to make some gold wire. Again, with the amount of resources you can get by automating quarrying, it doesn't really matter that you get an extra kind of 50% of wire out of your gold or whatever. Um, so probably not going to use that too much. Um, so the other side, uh, I've made these kind of paths uh, so you can access all the all the stuff and I made this gadget here. This is what I was doing last night actually. Um, so let me show you what that does. I need to go and get some cracked sand. Um, I haven't got it automatically feeding the cracked sand. I'm quite happy to, to just grab a load and chuck some in manually. Uh, when I want to. I mean, I don't want to completely run out of the stuff. Um, 
but the the reason for doing this is I needed um, oh what's the stuff? Let's have a look in here. This stuff, saltpeter dust for making gunpowder, and you get that from centrifuging cracked sand. And one of the side effects of centrifuging cracked sand is you get a full fuel can. And I don't like wasting anything. I like to do things frugally and elegantly. So I wanted to use a generator to produce energy from that. Um, and that's that goes into an MFE. I spent probably about two hours trying to uh, work this out with these much further apart, not next to each other, um, with uh, Billcraft pipes. And it almost worked, but the main problem is you have to put the ca uh, full cans in the bottom of the generator and take them out of the bottom of the generator. I just. Uh, you can't. With Billcraft, you can't send just one of something. So if it's something that doesn't stack, you end up sending loads. The first one goes in and the rest just spill all over the floor. Big mess, complete waste. Uh, so yeah, it's quite expensive, but I had to. Uh, I decided to use these managers. So this one tries to put one um, full fuel can in there. This one tries to keep any number of empty fuel cans in. The bottom means this slot. So why it's not down here or something, I don't know. Uh, and this basically um, says anything. Uh, basically anything in these slots, uh, pull it out and uh, send it to the managers or if it's sand or saltpeter dust just um, push it into the the sorting system over here uh, and this works really really nicely so um, when this is finished you'll actually see the generator fires up and it starts filling the the MFE <clears throat> now I had about 20 stacks of cracked sand so I switched off my geothermals especially because I was getting a bit low on lava um, and it's not done too bad, but now we're starting to lose power because I'm running low on crack sand. Um, right, that actually pulled out the full uh, full can through here, um, and then it should have returned the empty can to here. So yeah, it has, and it works. And now you can see the generators switched on. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we're getting power going into the MFE, and that's trying to fill up uh, the MFSU. Other things that I've done is I created this tank here for um, creosote oil. I noticed that creosote oil was burnable in uh, the boilers, the steam boilers. Um, what I didn't look at is how much heat it generates, which was a bit stupid, but um, there was a load of creosote oil at um, spawn, there's some public uh, coke ovens and uh, the overflow tanks were all full and it wouldn't actually uh, do any more coke so I decided to as a public service empty all of the creosote oil into this tank and then uh, I switched over from using fuel uh, because this tank was down to about 70 buckets full I filled it up since then um, so I switched that off and that's what I use these tanks for I just right click on them and stop the fuel going through or whatever um, and I, I put the creosote oil in. I mean, I know it's not a huge tank. Uh, it's, you know, just over 500 buckets. But I thought that would keep it going for a while while I got around to going and finding another oil well. Yeah, um, the difference between fuel, which produces 92 or 93k, something like that, heat in uh, the steam boilers and creosote which is 3.2k uh, yeah it just blasted through all the creosote oil ridiculously quickly and all the boilers stopped running and then the boilers cooled down and it's taken a well pretty much all of that fuel I had this full um, so I think it took about 200 buckets to get all the boilers back up to heat it takes a lot of fuel you don't want to let them cool down so that was a failed experiment. I don't know whether I'll keep this. Um, but I've started filling it up. I've started doing my own. Um, I mean, I've got some steel to do the boilers, but uh, I need to create my own. So here we go. Here's my steel creation system. Very, very simple. So we've got a coke oven and a relay that pumps coal into the coke oven. And then 
we have a gate, an autarkic gate, and when there's items in the inventory, it pulses them, which pulls them out into this chest. So this chest gets the coal coke in, and then we have another autarkic gate, which says when the blast furnace is low fuel, uh, pulse some more fuel in. So uh, pulses the coal coke in here, and we have another relay, which puts in the iron, uh, running out now and this one just anything in there pulse it out and into here um, because if the output slot fills up it won't uh, won't make any more steel and then uh, here this just pulls out the creosote oil and uh, I use this tank which um, there's another one it's an ender tank uh, there's another one on top of the tank over there um, and that's what gets the creosote oil in so, um, yeah, I've also stopped using turtles for quarrying and started using quarries for quarrying, which is uh, what everyone else does. Uh, the reason I didn't at the start, uh, if we go to the Twilight Forest, I'll show you my latest quarry. Uh, the reason I didn't at the start was because um, this mod pack uses Greg Tech and he changed it to need a diamond drill, which needed uh, titanium. Um, and I didn't have any, and I couldn't make any until I made the industrial blast furnace. Um, right, this is reset. It's not actually doing anything anymore. You can see the uh, this will start decaying the frame. Um, but this is a, a hollow hill, a very one of the large hollow hills, and uh, I basically quarried the thing out. Um, unfortunately, the server reset has just reset it, but I pretty much got all of the good stuff out of here. Uh, just see if I can see anything that's worth popping down and getting. Um, so, ooh, I love my sword, but geez, there's a lot of mobs. Um, thing is, I don't really care. I, they're not going to kill me, um, <laughs> but I won't be able to mine anything with this lot wailing on me. So, if you just give me a minute, I shall uh, dispatch, and then I'll, I'll show you the sword. Actually, I, I lost my original. Sword. This one isn't quite as good, although it does have fire aspect, which the last one didn't have. Um, yeah, so the sword is a Thormium sword, and the reason I like those is you can have repair on them. It uses uh, the Vis Aura to repair the sword. It's also... oh, goodness me. I'm trying to talk to the people. Come on, leave me alone. Um, it's got sharpness for Vorpal 1 and fire aspect 1. The last sword was the same, except you had Vorpal 2 and it also had uh, looting too, which I preferred. I think I managed to you, get the looting to actually do anything two or three times, and then I lost it. Um, it's when we were getting the tower wood, actually. The first time I'd been in uh, one of those uh, big towers, dark towers, and we were fighting the, um, the lich. Didn't know what we were doing, and at one point things got a bit panicky, and instead of pressing forward, I pressed Q, threw my sword on the floor, ran away, and it despawned. I didn't notice, basically. So, yeah. <laughs> a bit annoyed about that, because it was an amazing sword. Um, but, you know, this, this one's okay. Uh, if I ever get a looting uh, enchantment book, I'll put looting on it. Um, levels are very easy to come by. As you can see, I'm level 34. Um, not difficult to get levels, and it's it's quite hard to die unless you're really, really quite stupid. Because um, jetpack, you can just fly away if you get into trouble. So uh, you know, it's a lot easier to survive. So yeah, I've been quarrying here. Uh, the setup I'm using for quarrying is fairly simple. Um, so I put platforms up uh, where I think roughly the top of the, the hollow hill is. Uh, I put my quarry down. I put uh, redstone energy cell. Right, this is nice and full again. Um, uh, these haven't burned through all their bio biomass, but I'll just have to waste that. Um, and then while these are warming up and I'm filling them with a bit of lava and uh, biomass, uh, this is clearing the area. It has to clear this area here and sometimes I hop in and help it if there's lots of marble and, and dirt because I can do that really fast with my um, my advanced diamond drill. So yeah I get those going um, 
Right next to here I have an ender tank which connects to my tank of biomass and underneath um, underneath here uh, what's that to get rid of those um, you see the energy conduits which lead to this um, and I can set this to uh, adjust the output to adjust the speed of the quarry so with five of these uh, biomass engines that that gives me 25 uh, megajoules per tick uh, I often have this set to 50 or maybe even 100 uh, just just runs down and then it'll run at 25 megajoules and then when the quarry finishes or I switch it off and I set the output to zero uh, I just use the remaining biomass to recharge this um, and then I can take it away and then the um, the output uh, just a couple of diamond chests so all of the non-important stuff I send up and uh, all the good stuff I put into this ender chest and then I've been putting cobble and um, and gravel in there because I can actually use that for something and now I am void piping marble and dirt because I have about 500 stacks and I can't imagine what on earth I'm gonna do with it so yeah I thought try time to stop um, so yeah, that, that's what I've been up to. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm hoping the next video will be um, maybe me actually doing some more building of the house. Uh, but I love the gadgets, so I often get sidetracked onto doing the gadgets, but I am determined to finish the house at some point. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. And on that note, while we're attacked by some ghosts with a crown, uh, in fact, there's two more over there. Uh, I will say goodbye. Until next time.